extended family of six has lost everything. A fire destroyed their Northland home and our Betsy Webster is live from that scene in Pleasant Valley and Betsy just awful news before the holiday. Oh, terrible. You know, there never is a good time, but this certainly is a particularly bad one. You look behind me here, you can see that the windows have been boarded up tonight, but if you really want to get a sense of the damage, just follow me this way. This was their front porch. I mean, take a look at that wood just charred and their roof had to be pulled down. Actually, I don't know if it was pulled down or if it fell down, but to get a sense of how hot this fire burned, just look over here. This is one of their cars that was parked in front of the house. Just melted the side of that car. It still actually smells a little bit like smoke out here. And now there are five adults and a 10 year old boy who are trying to figure out what to do next, all while grieving the loss of two pets. This is what the home looked like when someone spotted it across the street. Christy McCall owns the now destroyed home. It's terrible. It was the family dog who alerted the people inside, her son's girlfriend, Val, and his girlfriend's brother, Israel. The dog was barking and racing cane. Um, they thought he just wanted to get out of the kennel. But when Israel got downstairs, there were sparks flying around the kennel. I couldn't get to him. Israel was able to wake Val in the front room, and the pair ran out back. But there was no safe way to get back for their cat, Mr. Lovers, or three-year-old boxer mix, Manny. He's three. He's had him since he was a baby. Horrible at any time of year, but still. We just put the tree up and they had bought presents and I kept trying. I hide mine because the kids open them, but they let put theirs out and it's just not pretty. Now McCall lived here with her son, his girlfriend, her 10 year old son, his girlfriend's 10 year old son, her brother, and his girlfriend. They're now scattered at different friends' houses and one motel room. The fire department says the cause of the fire appears at first glance to be electrical. Mm -hmm. Reporting live in Pleasant Valley, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.